Welcome to this edition of SAU Magazine, a weekly program featuring news, profiles, sports, commentary, interviews, and special events, all coming to you from the campus of Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia. This is a Southern Arkansas University News Brief. I'm Michael Long. And I'm Thomas Murphy. Dolph Camp Hall, the recipient of a $1 million renovation appropriation from the last legislative session, will get $250,000 more. Governor Mike Huckabee said this week that he's releasing the money from the General Improvement Fund. The governor made the announcement following an event at Magnolia City Hall. Dolph Camp Hall, named for the man who was president of Southern Arkansas University from 1950 to 1959, was the former home of SAU's music program. It will now be the new technology center on campus. The computer commons will remain open additional hours for students beginning this week. The commons will be open through the following. Monday through Thursday, May 1st through 4th from 8 a.m. until midnight. Friday, May 5th from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Saturday, May 6th from 12 p.m. until 8 p.m. Sunday, May 7th from 2 p.m. until midnight. Monday through Wednesday, May 8th through 10th from 8 a.m. until midnight. Thursday, May 11th from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Computer Commons is asking that only people with school-related business come and use the computers. Mark Pryor, Arkansas Attorney General, will be the guest speaker at the 2000 Spring Commencement Ceremony at SAU here in Magnolia. The commencement will be on Friday, May the 12th, beginning at 8 p.m. at Wilkins Stadium. A total of 340 students are scheduled to receive their diplomas from Southern Arkansas University. May the 31st will be the last day a department can submit a purchase order to the Office of Purchasing for this year. After May 31st, purchase orders received will be held until July 1st for processing. The senior administrator of the area and the president must approve any exceptions. If you have an emergency order, route it through the senior administrator and the president before giving it to the Office of Purchasing. The SAU Bookstore will conduct the Spring Book Buyback in the lobby of the Bruce Center during Finals Week. This fall, the students at Southern Arkansas University will see something new on the front of certain books. Guaranteed Buyback. Books with the Guaranteed Buyback sticker on them will be bought back for 50% of the purchase price year-round. The Business Office will also have a new program this summer, Bookstore Checks. They will be just used just like real money but only in the bookstore for books and supplies. This is the final edition of SAU Magazine for the spring 2000 semester. This program airs each week on radio stations in Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas, Oklahoma, and Mississippi. An audio webcast of SAU Magazine can be heard at the SAU website on the Department of Theater and Mass Communication homepage. More audio and video materials will be available at the site this fall. This has been a Southern Arkansas University News Brief. I'm Thomas Murphy. And I'm Michael Long. With an SAU Profile, I'm Nikita Martin. And I'm Daniel Green. This week's profile is on SAU golf coach Dave Graham. Graham is a father, a husband, and more than just a golf coach. Many people look up to him outside of his family. His knowledge of the game is insurmountable and his sense of humor is even better. Coach Graham is in his fifth season as golf coach for SAU, the Mount Holly native retired from the United States Army in 1994. He also worked at Kings Mill Golf Course in Kings Mill, Virginia, where he met and befriended PGA Tour star Fred Funk. He currently teaches at Magnolia Junior High. Coach Graham married the former Michelle Giffen, a California native who graduated from Central Texas University. They have two children, TC and Larry. A former SAU golfer himself, Graham teaches the sport to his golfers in a great way. He knows everything there is to know about the game and the swing. He is coming off a disappointing season, but he has a few good players coming in that should help him replace the golfers he is losing next season. With an SAU profile, I'm Daniel Green. And I'm Nikita Martin. SAU Sports, I'm Heather Halter. And I'm Jeff Grissom. The SAU co-ed softball intramurals ending Thursday, April 27th. A team called The Rope walked away with the championship. The men's softball intramural playoffs are this week. The four teams remaining are Icewater, Fuzzy Dice, True Ballers, and Next. Icewater and Fuzzy Dice will be competing for the winner's bracket, while True Ballers and Next will play to win the loser's bracket. The winners of those two games will then play for the men's softball championship. 
This game will conclude this year's intramural season. The Southern Arkansas University cheerleader tryouts for the 2000-2001 academic year were held on Sunday, April 9th. The four returning cheerleaders are Captain Chris Booth, Captain Heather Halter, Elizabeth Ray, and Catherine Ray. The new six are Anna Marie Riggins, Joanne Lane, Christy McCloskey, Tess Mann, Shane Kinder, and Heather Beck. The new squad will be traveling to Southern Methodist University on July 28th through the 30th for the National Cheerleader Association Summer Camp. On May 13th, one of SAU's students will compete in a competition of skills, talent, and stamina. Dwayne DeFee will participate in a half triathlon, half Ironman competition. The competition, which will be aired on ESPN, is to be held in Panama City, Florida. DeFee was a student assistant for the Mule Rider cross country and track teams this year. The first category of event will be swimming. Contestants must swim 1.2 miles into the ocean and then back to the starting point. In the second and third categories, the contestants must bike 56 miles and run 13.1 miles. Anyone interested in trying out for the 2000-2001 Rotterette tennis team, contact Wayne Garner at 235-4146. The campus tryouts will be held this week at the SAU Tennis Courts. You should bring your racket and any other equipment you will need. SAU Sports, I'm Jeff Grissom. And I'm Heather Halter. With commentary, I am Mark Machiro. And I'm David Parkerson. The pre-registration for the fall semester has come and gone. This is a good way for students to reserve a place in a class for the next semester, but there's still room for improvement. Registration is all about choosing the right subjects and combination for the next semester. Most of the time, the student already knows what he or she is taking and only goes to see the advisor so that the schedule can be saved on the computer. Wouldn't it be better if we could do this online at any time? Colleges around the U.S. are offering online registration to better serve their students. Online registration is quicker, easier, and cheaper. It's readily available to the students whenever they need it. SAU should not walk into the 21st century but leap into it like every other university. We should be free to decide when and where we want to register our classes. With commentary, I'm David Parkerson. And I'm Mark Mochiro. With an SAU police log, I'm Dana Thomas. Southern Arkansas University's police force has responded to a number of incidents during the 1999-2000 academic year. By providing a safe atmosphere on campus, UPD is following one of the university's goals stated in the SAU catalog, to provide the opportunity for all students to have the experience of a well-rounded college education. The mission of UPD is to serve and protect. In past years, there have been thefts or arguments when students move out of residence halls after spring semester final exams. Officers also patrol campus more frequently at this time of year, as expanded hours of the computer center and library mean more students on campus. More students means a greater potential for incidents to occur. To report any suspicious person or activity, call UPD at 235-4100. That's 235-4100. As final exams are approaching, students at Southern Arkansas University are packing their belongings and saying goodbye to friends. End of semester usually means many late nights on campus either studying or partying. In either case, students need to remember that safety comes first. Here are a few tips to remember during the last weeks of school. When you are on campus late at night, try to stay in a group or call campus security to be escorted back to your dorm. Do not prop open the door to your residence hall while moving things out. Your belongings will be more safe if doors are kept shut and locked. And remember, if you think someone is breaking the law, don't take matters into your own hands. Call campus security. Have a safe finals week and a safe summer. With an SAU police log, I'm Dana Thomas. I'm Lisa Stegall and I'm Kara Gwynn with job information from the SAU Employment Resource Center. The Department of Computer Services has a federal work-study job opening. Also, the supplemental instruction leaders are now accepting applications for summer or fall 2000 semesters. Applications are available in Graham Hall room 110 and 116. Contact Stephanie Bennett, the Supplemental Instruction Coordinator at 235-4052. The Computer Commons has work available for work-study or regular work. 
Those interested can contact Kate Partain for more information. The Youth Apprenticeship has openings for work study and regular work. For other work study job opportunities, contact Kelly Hansa at the Financial Aid Office. Also, there are openings at the Physical Plant Paint Department for work study and regular work. I'm Kara Gwynn. And I'm Lisa Stegall. With job information from the SAU Employment Resource Center. With this week's entertainment news, I'm Jonathan Wood. An exhibition of art and memorabilia celebrating 50 years of Magnolia Blossom Festival sidewalk art shows is taking place at the Brinson Gallery on the campus of Southern Arkansas University, May the 5th through the 30th. For more information, contact Professor Ralph Larman at 235-4241. It is sponsored by Magnolia Arts. The Department of Theater and Mass Communication held its annual picnic this weekend at the Logali State Park Pavilion. Student awards for 1999 and 2000 were announced in broadcast journalism, print journalism, and theater. Sigma Pi and the Ag Club are sponsoring a luau at the Osmer House this weekend. It's $5 a person and $8 a couple. There will be a pig roast, drinks, dancing, and games. Sigma Pi is also sponsoring a bikini contest at their beach party this weekend at the PNC. First place is $100, second place is $50, and third place is $25. To enter the contest, contact Robert Burns at 234-4145 or Heath Green at 901-6389. Admission is $5 without beachwear. With beachwear, admission is $3. SAU's Dance and Stage Movement class sponsored a dance workshop in Harton Theater. Encore also held a concert for the public. It is a dance and music group that performs at regional high schools each semester. A new bookstore will be at SAU from May the 3rd through the 12th. An off-campus mobile text truck and tent will be located in the vacant lot adjacent to the Baptist Student Union on North Jackson. Students will also have an option to use the mobile text truck and tent at the beginning of the fall semester. Competition for student buyback is now underway. Again, the mobile text truck and tent will be on campus until May the 12th. With this week's entertainment news, I'm Jonathan Wood. SAU broadcast journalism students produce informative television programs for viewers in Southwest Arkansas. The SAU report features interviews with faculty, staff, students, and alumni. It is seen each week in Magnolia on TCA Cable Channel 13. Camden residents can see the SAU report each morning on cable channel 16. Tens of thousands of cable television households in southwest Arkansas watch the program on KTSS-TV channel 55 in Hope. The SAU report not only serves as a learning tool for broadcast journalism students, but serves to inform the region about institutional events and personalities. Some editions of SAU magazine feature audio segments from these television programs. Be sure and watch the SAU Report on your local cable television service. Informative viewing, provocative subject matter. The SAU Report. With this week's SAU Calendar, I'm Braden Harmon. And I'm Christy Roden. Monday, May 8th, Finals Week begins and Impact, Innovative Memorable Programming Activities for Campus Togetherness, will sponsor a stress-free zone Monday through Wednesday. The stress-free zone will last from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. in the Bruce Center's Conference Room 2. Also on Monday, the Student Government Association will hold their last Traffic Appeals Court of the semester. Tuesday, May 9th, the Missionary Baptist Student Foundation will hold a late-night event and SAU's Dining Hall will hold a late-night feeding frenzy. Both events will start at 10 p.m. Wednesday is Student Pay Day and final payments on room and board are due. Thursday, the residence halls will close at 5 p.m. And Friday, SAU will hold its commencement for graduating seniors at 8 p.m. in Wilkins Stadium. And that's this week's SAU Calendar. SAU Magazine is a production of broadcast journalism students in the Department of Theater and Mass Communication at Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia.